What would Dave advise? Hello, everybody. It's the Camo Dave Show, the afternoon edition for the 9th of February, 2021. What would I advise Mike to do? Now, Living Free Mike, that, um, uh, what would I advise him? Now, you know, the dog, the dog has passed away. He did a live stream the other night and raised some decent money. What would I advise him to do? I'm not going to tell him where to go traveling. I think he should get on the road and do some more traveling, you know, somewhere other than Arizona, okay, and Southern California. Go somewhere else, you know, I don't know. That's what I would advise him to do. But in the meantime, you know what I think he should do? I think he should get a cute little puppy. I really do. You know, do you think, do you think he's going to do that? I don't know. I think that would be the best thing for him to do for his channel right now. An adorably cute little puppy. And then that can be one of his main uh, content lines for the next year. Okay? Watch this cute little puppy turn into my very best friend. You know, Sober would like that. Sober would say, you know, if Sober could talk, Sober would probably say, Mike, I love you. I love you, man. But I'd like to see you happy. And, and if another dog will make you happy, then why not? And give some joy to another dog. So I think Mike should get another dog, preferably some really cute, youngish dog, maybe even a puppy. And then that would be, you know, that would be a lot of content. You know, he doesn't, then he wouldn't even need to travel very much in 2021. Just give us, you know, Every, you know, daily, weekly updates on that beautiful little puppy. I, I don't know. That's my advice to Mike. We'll see if he takes it. <laughs> and if he does, I want some credit. I want him to say, you know, Camo Dave suggested this, and I'm going to do it. Ah, uh, we got a new one there from Unstoppable Morgan. She is uh, traveling in Maine. I, I, you got to hand it to her. You know, you do got to hand it to her. The cold weather doesn't phase her one bit. You see all these nomads that, oh, it's too cold. I don't want to, I don't want to go anywhere north of Arizona or Florida at this time of the year. Oh, maybe I'll go to Georgia. Just, just maybe for a short time and then I'll come back to Florida. You know, she's in Maine. She's in Maine. And it's, it's February, excuse me. But February is probably colder than January is in Maine. But you got to hand it to her. She's one gutsy chick, right? I do like SUV RVing, one of my favorite channels, especially when he's camping out in his SUV somewhere in Idaho, Wyoming, Utah. He's in Quartzsite with everybody else now, interviewing people in Quartzsite. Come on, you can do better than that. You got to do the same thing that everybody else is doing. Story Chasing checks out a Biosphere, oh, Biosphere 2 where they put everybody in there see, seeing if they could live in a contained environment like that. Yeah, she's getting over the boyfriend. Good for her. Um, we have a new one from Inspirational Nomad. He's looking at a $333,000, three, three, let me see if I can do this, $333,332 uh, uh, little house there in Jupiter, Florida. He is just checking out all the real estate, all the land, all the uh, trailers, all the little houses that he could possibly buy. I really think he's going to be settling down and he's going to have to change his name from inspirational for to inspirational former nomad, don't you think? Poor Tom Green there. He used to be big. He used to be on MTV. We used to be married to Drew Barrymore. Please subscribe to my channel. Please. I need that bad, because that's important. Heat Seeker Bus Pierre there up in Ontario uh, didn't get down to the States this year. You know, last year he was uh, hanging out down there in New Orleans and Arizona and Florida, and the Canadians just can't get across the border for tourist stuff. But he does some interesting stuff. He found an army, a couple of army helmets there at a yard sale. Wow. That looks like uh, Spanish, doesn't it? At least that pro... Yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, what do you think? If you can help Pierre at Heat Seeker Bus uh, there, um, identify that. Mm, mm. That looks like Irish though, doesn't it? I, I don't know, Semper Paratus, what is that? Oh, okay, United States Coast Guard, Semper Paratus, Paratus, always ready. Mm. I don't know, man. We always got the good old RV odd couple there. No campsites left in 2021. 
How, yeah, what are you going to do? What, how, you know, a lot of people say 2021 is going to be a bad year for campers because a lot of people are going to be back out on the road this summer and spring and into the fall, and it's going to be really crowded at campgrounds. So, uh, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do to find those good spots and deal with all the hordes of people out there? Anyway, some letters. Pammy ASMR says, I don't agree with everything uh, Living Free does. Shoot. But nobody agrees with everyone all the time, but I know that he loves Sober, and I think we all think that. You know, he, he adored that dog. Absolutely. And Coley Hope says, if you can't afford a pet, then don't get a pet. You know, but that's, you know, you know, there are a lot of people that can't afford kids and have kids. I don't know. It's some things we do for love, and we don't think about the money, you know? Uh, Mark, Mark from Arizona says, you're our Walter Cronkite of YouTube, Dave, a journalist who reports the news is seen unless it's a personal commentary. You know, you can tell Mark from Arizona is old. He's old because the only old people would remember who, who the hell is Walter Cronkite? Carla Green says, I shouldn't make conclusions about, I guess, these nomads. She says, I, she listened to my rant about YouTubers. Just stick to, I don't know, man, because it answers everything and you don't get in trouble. I should do that. Happy birthday. That was yesterday. I just, yeah. I don't know, man. Well, I'm getting like that. I don't know, man. Yeah, Mike does a live stream after his dog dies. I don't know, man. So-and-so's collecting Mickey stuff and uh, buying a house and uh, has this little smart car. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. So-and-so's there in Phoenix hanging out with you-know-who we don't talk about. and I don't know, man. Uh, Roger Kilpatrick says, Dave, maybe I can say it for you. Get a job. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I don't like working for other people, okay? I, I, I am, I've been self-employed since the 80s, the late 80s, okay? I've done newsletters. I do web design stuff. I've been running a website for 23 years. I make a modest amount of money on it. Uh, the last time I actually, you know, had a jobby poo with a boss was like 1988, some of you aren't that old. Some of you weren't even born then. But, you know, I, 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 I do understand the concept of, you know, really not wanting to work for other people and having some idiot tell you what to do all day. Uh, I get it. I understand that. And maybe that's one of the reasons why I like to watch The Nomads, because I get that. I understand that mindset. But at the same time, there are things you can do in life to make some money and to get by without, you know, going to nine to five, punching the clock every day, working for some idiot. Uh, CVB says, you know, what Camo Dave does, I, it's kind of like being a successful game show host. Your opinion must be kept under wraps, but can be expressed subtly, all the while keeping the nice guy persona. A winning formula. You see a lot of shows like that. All those Sunday morning talk shows. You face the nation. Meet the press. Whatever they're all called. Fox News Sunday. They all have the host. You know the host is either a righty or a lefty. But yet he has to pretend to be, you know, fair and balanced. You know, and, uh, it, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, some do a better job of it than others. You know, I have opinions. I mean, you know, I've been doing this channel for for. for Five years now, five, fifth anniversary coming up in March. And, uh, you know, I have opinions and I try to like, you know, I don't want to like bulldoze you with my opinions because I, I don't like that. I wanted, what do you think, you know? Uh, RV serious, question mark, question mark, exclamation point, exclamation point, question mark, question mark. What's the difference between e-begging for assistance and for bet bills and e-begging for birthday gifts? Yeah. Yeah, did you hate those people that keep having to tell you it's their birthday? And then, you know, <laughs> look, my channel's free. It's free. And my birthday comes up and you want to help support the channel. That's okay with me. I'm not going to argue with it. Okay. I'm not, I'm not doing anything dishonest. We're going to give away a big swag bag of cool stuff. If you want to send me a birthday card, we'll enter you in the drawing. I, there's nothing dishonest about it. And again, I, again, you know, e-begging, whatever you want to call it. If it's honest, if, you know, if you have a beautiful dog that passes away and you've got a pile of, you know, veterinarian bills and stuff, and it's honest, that's the truth, and you need some money, I don't have a problem with it. If people want to, you know, I'm not going to send you something, and you don't have to send them something, but if you want to send them something, why not? 
If it's honest, I have no problem with it, okay? Now, it's going to get in the way of your channel. Some people are going to maybe unsubscribe or tune out because they just see you constantly talking about what you need, what you need, what you need. But, you know, as long as and that's the thing here, it's the honesty, you know, if you're being honest, you really are bum out broke and you don't have the money and you're asking for help. Well, you're honest. At least, you know, that's that. If it's if you're trying to use a situation to get money for something else, you know, yeah, you know, then if it's not honest, that's where I have a problem. And that's where I hope on this channel we at least can kind of give you a little bit of light. We can't, we don't know, we don't know, is this guy honest, is that girl honest, whatever. But at least we talk about it and we at least try to figure it out together and that's the best we can do. Shore to Rain says, the average blue book value for a 2001 Chevy van is 4K. Time for a reality check for Dawn. Yeah, I don't know, maybe Dawn figures. She built, she did some build outs in her vehicle there, uh, Dawn of Van Life, and it's worth a bit more than that. I think she's asking three times that, 12K. Let's see if she gets it, I don't know, you know, maybe she will. Um, but yeah, it seems like to me she's kind of, kind of tired of living on the road, at least for a while. I don't think she's giving it up for good, but she I think she wants to get rid of the vehicle and maybe start over somewhere down the road. I don't know. All our best to Donna. She's one of my I really like her. She has a good channel. She's honest. She I really think she's pretty honest. She may be asking a little too much for the van and she'll find that out. If nobody gives her an offer for it, she might have to lower the price. Uh, I, Terry B says I agree with your statement about one percent of your viewers being rabid loyalists, one percent rabid haters, and the rest of the consumers or the viewers in the middle. Yeah, I said that. You know, there's always that one percent that just love everything you do, one percent hate everything you do, and then everybody else is somewhere in the middle, right? Something like that. Something like that. Anyway, Terry continues in both politics, YouTube, and in the modern world in general. Sports teams, as an example, that are the most well-known uh, slash successful always seem to have the most rabid devoted fans and the most rabid devoted haters. Yes, you know, you, you know that is very true. Then the millions of us in the middle who just want to relax and watch stuff. Uh, no fear to trek. Ray <clears throat> says he wonders if Brian Adventure Van Man's new newly acquired box van will evolve into anything similar to a mini version of Just Incredible's TV step van rooftop patio in the cards. Yeah, remember Justin? He has the he likes to do purple stuff, right? He's up in Vancouver. There, he doesn't do a lot of posting anymore. I don't know. He hasn't been really doing much, but he does have some nice vans that he's built out, and he does have that pull deck on the top. I don't know. The only question, and I've seen some comments in here questioning Brian's uh, decision to get the box van, is it going to be as nimble enough off the road as a regular van would be? I don't know. It's higher. It's got, you know, you're not going to get, you know, under trees and stuff. I don't know. It doesn't look to be as nimble as, say, the, the, his regular van was, but he wants more room. He wants to have a, a blank canvas to re-engineer the insides, and it'll be, it'll be interesting to see. Open Land Sydney says, me and Line Screw should confront the nomads in Quartzsite. Get a group of those people to be with you and Line Screw that are behind those keyboards so that the uh, these nasty people that talk to the nomads can uh, confront them. Yeah, okay, so what we, we got to do, right? Get a bunch of my commenters and me and Line Screw and then we'll all go en masse, en masse, en masse, and we'll go down to Quartzsite and we'll all just confront them all. And see how it and see what happens. <laughs> hey, Andrew, line screw, are you up for it? Monday, February eighth at seven zero four PM. Duration nine seconds. Blocked call. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday from Creeper. Creeper. End of message. Oh, the creeper. Thank you. Thank you, creeper. End of messages. Hey, everybody, that ought to do it for today. Letters and more right here on the 9th of February 2021. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Og. Under.